Hey, Mr. P here. In this video, we're going to learn how to print a tin card successfully. So what are the steps that need to be taken in order to print an accurate and clear tin card? Um, if you remember from a previous lecture when I discussed or at least introduced a tin card, a tin card is a set of prints that are added to a database like APHIS and are kept on file so that the database has um, these prints to pull from in case the perpetrator or the suspect um, leaves them at a at a crime scene. So what are the steps that need to be taken in order to successfully print a tin card? A tin card is called a tin card because it is a card that has all ten prints um, in addition to some palm prints or at least multiple fingerprints taken at the same time. But you'll notice that for the majority of the tin card you have applicant information which is the information of the person that is giving the prints but you'll also see that there are 10 different sectors or 10 different segments where the 10 fingers will be printed. So the first thing that has to happen is um, you have to identify whether or not the prints are going to be taken with ink or if they're going to be taken digitally. Now I'm going to assume that we do not have access to a digital scanner in class and so we will use ink when we are um, printing a tin card and so what you will do is you will take the person, your lab partner, your, the person that you are to be printing and you're going to roll their finger in the ink and then you're going to place the fingerprint or the finger, print it in the appropriate box. So you'll notice that this is the right thumb. Okay, so the right thumb of the individual that will be giving the prints will be rolled in the ink and then will be placed in the right thumb box. Then you will roll their right index finger and then you will roll it carefully into this particular box. And you will continue to do that through the right middle finger, the right ring finger, the right little finger. Wipe off all of the ink from their right hand and then you will start over and you will do their left hand. So you'll take the left thumb, you'll ink it and then you'll roll it from left to right or right to left. You decide what is the most comfortable to you. Then the left index, left middle, left ring and left little finger. Now all of the prints have been individually rolled from left to right or right to left depending on their wrist flexibility and your preference as the one that is rolling their fingerprints. You will then get a more vertical thumb print on the left and right. So those will be put here, which could include not just the fingerprint, but could include all of the lower thumb um, until you get to basically the pad of the hand. You also then, if you're working on the left hand, take all the left four fingers simultaneously and as much as you can get to fit on the um, particular tin card, do it. This will give you prints um, of the lower finger pads as well as kind of see how the fingers all touch simultaneously because it can differ because some people's fingers are kind of rolled left to right or right to left. Um, and so then you continue to do that on the right as well. And so when you are done, you should have not only 10 individual fingerprints in these particular boxes, but you should have vertical left and right thumbs, as well as the left and right four fingers taken simultaneously. Once you have all of the prints done and you feel good about the quality of the prints, you know that they are clearly distinguished. Then you will write their information Okay, signature of person fingerprint, we'll just go ahead and say mine. Okay, if I was the one that was being fingerprinted, I would sign my name, I would put my um, address, I would then date it. The person that fingerprinted me would sign here. Then there would be an employer address and reason for fingerprinted. Okay, in my case, I'm a teacher. Um, I've been fingerprinted. I had to submit fingerprints when I got my emergency sub license. I also had to submit fingerprints when I um, applied for my professional license. And so all of my information would be kept on file, um, even though I've not committed any crimes that would warrant any fingerprint taking um, like individuals that have committed crimes. So um, just because you may have not committed crimes doesn't mean your fingerprints aren't on file members of law enforcement, members of public um, public fields, teachers, um, armed forces, members in the military, all of those individuals will be fingerprinted and will be kept on file even if um, no crimes have been committed. Okay, 
This is how you t uh, a print a tin card, a really quick five-minute video. Um, we will practice this skill in class. See ya.